Grab your glasses, everybody. It's time for a Moonshine Safari. Welcome, everybody, to Moonshine Safari. That's Dean over there. That's Josh. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hey, it's been a little while. A little bit. Been a moment since we've posted a new video. Actually, very recently posted a new yeah, one. We but just that has been just a minute since we re actually did record it. Um, but give shout outs to Del Toro because, man, he really. The camera seriously, today. check out those edits, That's man. Right. Those are amazing. And they take time. Anyone oh, they who's take edited time. a video knows. So give them a big shout out. And that's what we do in our very first segment of our shows yeah. here at Moonshine Safari, our crazy moonshine life. Right. Whatever that is. Whatever it is. Right? Our journey. Right. So our shine outs, and you can see we have we have some new uh, goggles here from yeah. uh, Ray-Ban. This is not paid advertisement. No, no. We don't get anything but Ray-Ban. Hey. But hey, send, I'm, send I'm a Send a check. Fan. Send a check. Um, we'd like to give our shout outs to, we already mentioned, to Del Toro. Also, we'd like to give out to Arizona Natural History Museum. Yeah, that was awesome. What was awesome? Where we went. What did we do? Beer and bones. There and we go. Beer. Things. I was just, it was a test to see, see if she I understood. knew. I knew what happened. I, I Beer know and up. bones. Yeah. Arizona History Museum. That was a couple weeks ago, but oh my goodness, it, it was, was so it much was awesome. fun. It was amazing. And the people were so nice. And let me just Super tell you, helpful. me and Del Toro, or is it Del Toro and I? I don't know. I've been out of college for a long time and I don't give a crap. Anyway, um, me and Del Toro scored big time on some uh, this little test that w that they gave out uh, matching oh, skulls right. yeah. mm -hmm. to animal actually teeth to food and then skulls to animals and guess who freaking like jammed thank you animal planet <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank I you failed that one neutral of omaha just so wild clear. kingdom that i used to watch when i was a kid yeah, you didn't watch any of that stuff. But no. Del Tor and I, we were, and in fact, we shot them and impressed the people who worked at the museum because they had no idea. They were surprised. They I were surprised. That. So shout out to them. That was a great time. So next year, if you can uh, go and support Beer and Bones, it's awesome. A lot of local uh, breweries. In fact, one we're going to shout out to is the uh, Cider Core that's over in uh, in, Mesa, in yeah. Mesa, right? So Cider Core, they have a bunch of different kinds of ciders and oh, yeah, delicious. Oh, they were amazing. So we're gonna give a shout out to, and it is veteran owned yeah. and veteran run. And speaking of our vets, you know us, we support our vets. Yeah. Now look, you may not necessarily support the wars the or whatever's going on, but the, they're doing what they're told to do. Yeah. And we support them 100%. Uh, so we are we are behind them. Also, I was going to say Chimney, etc., but we're kind of a week late on we're that. We're kind of past. Yeah, kind of a week on a week late. But or really early for the next year. Yeah, our last video we t we said Happy Sukkot to you in the last day of Sukkot, or actually a totally separate holidays called Shimini etc. It's the eighth day. Look that up. Google it. It'll be something interesting for you to know. A lot of people don't know about it. Especially if you're you interested in Bible grown stuff. Up Jewish. That's true. Especially Bible stuff. Yeah. You know, very interesting. Okay. Hey, we're going to talk about music. We are. Let's talk about music. Because music is important to us. It is very it is. important. And you know what we're going to talk about this time? We're not going to put a, another group or though we really have some we like tons. Um, all the time you guys know me, I like Blackberry Smoke. I'm a big Blackberry Smoke fan. But anyway, we're going to promote ourselves because this is our channel. We have we have some original music that we have, uh, that I've written and Josh, Dean and I have written together Josh. and put together. And uh, we I would like for you guys stuff. to check those out. We have them on SoundCloud. We also have it on YouTube. All of the different social platforms. Yeah. Um, some of the songs we have out there right now is called um, This Whiskey's For You. Yep. Which is a song about my my father. Josh's we have one called Hey, 
that's one that she and I do together. It's pretty fun. Uh, we have one. We have the Moonshine Safari theme song that you can see uh, that's out there. Uh, we have we need Love to Goes. That one. We probably will. Oh, there's point. some. Yeah, because some of them were like when we were first kind of getting into the studios and stuff like that. So uh, we have one called Love Goes. Mm -hmm. um, that that's out there that we like for you to listen to. Um, this is this is actually really dark and I can't really see what this is here. Uh, oh, Precious Lord and Moonshine in the Trunk are a couple covers that we yeah. we did. Moonshine in the Trunk by uh, Brad Paisley. Precious As you can Lord, see, really old. Um, that's hymn. really not a cover because, yeah, that's like it's out of. Hymn. There's no copyright on that song. It's no, old, right. so, public domain. But Precious Lord, that's right. Um, and yes, we're Jewish. Yes, we are. But there are some hymns that have some good, solid Torah teachings in there. If you know what I mean. Not only that, I mean to be fair, a lot of the hymn stuff it's cultural. It is cultural, so, absolutely. And and you know, I grew up in the South, and you yeah. grew up in the Southwest. But we both grew up Southern Baptist, so yes, there you go. We did. Right. Um, That's a whole other story that you could go back and listen to. Right. One of our previous episodes that you can go back to listen to. I don't know how many episodes now. Del Toro is actually behind the camera today. Say hi to Del Toro, everybody. Say hi, Del Toro. Yo, what's up? There he is. Yo. He's behind the camera today, actually so, keeping us uh, honest today. So episode fifty-eight. 58. All right. There you go. Thank See, you, look, buddy. He has it. Yeah, all right. See, I have to be honest. I can't really mess with him too much today, but I will a little bit. So we'll see. But um, so we would like for you to check out our original yeah. stuff and tell us what you think. And I know, look, it's not it's not professionally produced. Not we did polished. it here in our it's own Moonshine Safari Studio uh, on our own computer and doing our own thing. And that's how we want it. We want it just yeah. raw and nice, and it's just feeling and emotion and yeah. stuff that we throw out on paper and 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 sing from our heart and just like a lot of people. And if you like it, great. If it touches you, great. And if you'd like to leave a comment or something, please do down. Do it below there. As right when you're subscribing and liking and, and, and ringing the bell and all the crap. Because that you're everybody supposed to always do. tells you in the beginning. Of every exactly. Video. I just told you right now. But anyway. Okay. okay next up. We always talk about like some, this chair is really creaking. Can you hear that over there? This is really creaking. Anyway. Um, like a marriage tip. You know, we've been together now, married for over 26 years. We have been together over 30 years. We've known each other since 1986. Long time. Long time. Right? So we have a little bit of experience. Uh, with relationships and we still we're not perfect by any stretch I'm still training him and, <laughs> ain't that the truth yeah and, and and if anybody knows me i'm not easily trained <laughs> i'm one of those that you have to hit in the face with a newspaper from time to time a lot a lot and still doesn't work and i can't run a lot I hit you in and the face and work. i can't run right one thing that we want to talk about is that, you know, one thing that's really important when you are uh, a couple, and especially when you're parents, is, uh, is being a united front um, with your kids about certain things. Now, you may have differences on opinions and you need to work that kind of stuff out uh, and talk about Behind it. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Um, one thing that I can say that I realize now as an adult that my my parents did, especially uh, my mom, is she kind of did, she kind of picked favorites and kind of, not really favorite, but she kind of pitted us up against each other from time to Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And that was... That's a very common refrain. And like I said, I feel like definitely on my side too. That was my too. phone in my pocket, everybody, if you heard that. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, so I, I realized that, and 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 that's probably caused a lot of issues. The issues that I have between my my siblings. It certainly Honestly, hasn't helped. It hasn't helped. That's true. Um, but uh, when when you're uh, a couple and you're and you're you know dealing with your kids, what we always try to do, and this is just like a tip, is we would rather our kids be united kind of against us it, yeah because you know if what that makes sense basically like we've always i've right? always even said and del Toro's in here he didn't attest to this <laughs> i don't need the your witness help. i don't need your help 
Right. I don't need you to gang up with me on the sibling. Right. I can handle it. Mind your business. We'll and take care of them. I'll take care of it. And, and we don't need... You know, I, and we, I think we've made it pretty clear, and I think Del Toro could probably witness, and Robin could witness too, that that uh, at no time do we do it that way. We don't yeah. pick favorites and no. pit one against the other. In fact, we we tell them specifically against that because of what the way... You know, I think that happened to, to Dina a little bit too, and 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 obviously Absolutely. to me, well, I, it's real kind of still happening to you a little bit sometimes in some ways, but you know, I not yes. happening to me. But I think it's important that you come, and I guess it's more of a parenting tip too, and a marital tip because well, you need to come as a united front um, when when there are issues with your children. Um, you need to do that now. Obviously, if you have difference of, and and we have we have we've had some major differences of opinion about things, especially like political and and even religious and, and things like that. But when it comes right down to it, it's like it's not something that's going to divide us so much. Oh that, right, that, it's not know, something I'm, that you can't live with someone. You just, well, right. I'm some sleeping on the couch. On. I've never done that. I've never slept on the couch. Anyway. I tried. That's when my I'm freaking mad. bed, man. I'm but not then, even sleeping then on the I couch. Had a, I end up only being mad enough. If she doesn't to want stay me in the bed. About an hour. If she doesn't want me in the bed. That's too bad. That's too bad. I paid for that. <laughs> I paid for that. Anyway, all right. Sorry about the whole rubbing nose thing. My nose is itching. Um, I know. I keep pushing my glasses. All right. So these are new. <laughs> these are new. We talked about that. Yeah, I know. These are. Doesn't she look sharp over there? Thanks, Del Toro. Absolutely. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is kind of a. I don't know, kind of a light thing, uh, kind of a fun thing. So gonna, we're going to talk about some phrases, some phrases that we have used. Um, sort of become part of our, our own individual life. pop culture yeah. lexicon. Uh, by, by no means is this the exhaustive no. list because I couldn't even think of all the things. And I'm sure Del Toro and Robin could have probably say, ones. oh, no, you say this all the time. You oh, say yeah, this yeah. all the time. You say this all the time. And I'll go. Oh, yeah, I say that, and then I'll, we'll be watching them and go, Oh, hey, guys, that's where I get that from. And they go, exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something I saw back when I was, you know, 19 or 20 or even younger. Uh, but we're going to kind of go through some of our top phrases that we um, that that we uh, use, Yep. I guess, right? That so, we, uh, that, or that we, yeah, that come, like you said, like it yeah. comes up. Right. So why don't you go ahead and go first if you can think of one, if you yeah, have one, so, so that you um, like that you use. In fact, I put it on some of our like graphics and stuff like that. Is ain't that pretty? <laughs> ain't that pretty? Okay. So can you tell them where context that comes I from? I can. So some we, of you might know. If you know, okay. If you know, we've already talked about some of our favorite shows. Right. And my personal all-time favorite is Andy Griffith. Okay. So, um, on Andy Griffith, oh, did I pick Mash? I did. And doesn't matter. No. Anyway, um, so there's an episode of Andy Griffith. It's one of my favorites where um, Andy and Barney are teasing Ben Weaver, the store owner in the town. And he's um, a tight water, me no skin flint. Right, and they could take advantage of him. They anyway, um, so they're teasing him, and they know he's coming, and so they start to pretend like they're singing and playing guitar and all that. And when he comes in, they won't let him interrupt him. They finish the song and they go, ain't that pretty. Right. So, and music half charms. <laughs> anyway, it's <laughs> a good. It's so funny. And you guys, those of you who watched Andy Griffith, you know what you one know. I didn't if even not, have to probably say that you much. You got to go check that one out. It's, it is like it's awesome. one of the best classic By the way, ones. all those episodes are on Netflix. That's true. Um, I'm just going to throw one out. This is kind of an, we've been watching True Blood. Yeah. And some of you might go, oh, <gasps> True Blood. That has like violence and strong sexual content. It has a lot of things. Yeah, it does. It has all the things. Anyway, if you've seen Game of uh, Thrones, then close your eyes and don't don't worry about it. Um, but one of the funniest quotes that that comes from this, I love, it, is Tara. Tara's one of the oh, uh, characters yes. in there, and she said, and there's she sees this big giant pig in the middle, of the road, and she says, a big pig, like a crazy ass mfing. Okay, I would say that uh, Paul Bunyan pig. We're trying not to get censored. Yeah, trying not to get kicked off. But not that we make any money from this. No. I mean, we don't have anything monetized anymore. Anyway. No, we don't no, get no, paid no, for no. anything. We do this do this because we're trying to annoy all you people. Right, exactly. Anyway, and it also, looks like we're doing a good job. Anyway, anyway so... <laughs> um, okay, so... Love you have another one? one? Yeah, okay. By the way, and I love that one. Yeah, that's a great one. It's so funny. That one's fabulous. Because um, no one believes her. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, okay. Yeah, so um, one of my favorite movies 
of all time. Um, every so often, you hear, damn, we're in a tight spot. That's it. Where do you think that one's from, guys? Damn, we're in a tight spot. Give you a clue. George Clooney. Cohen Can you brothers. Think about it? Cohen brothers. There you go. Can you think of it? Not yet. Tell me what it is. Oh, brother, where art thou? Oh, brother, where art thou? That's a classic. You Which guys is, gotta watch that. Okay. Freaking the one of the humor best movies is so ever. So dry. It's so. It's funny. one of the best I movies ever. Movie. It just is. It is. All right. So one of mine is uh, Fubar. Okay. See, I always say that. I don't know where it came from. It came from the movie Tango and Cash. Okay. See, I probably. Do you know seen who was in Tango in and Cash? Yeah. Isn't it Sylvester? Stallone. Yeah, Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, okay. In fact, I think it's on one of it's in the Netflix it's, I think or it's on Amazon. Amazon right now. Tango and Cash, yeah. right? He says Fubar, and it means effed up beyond all recognition. Yeah, okay, I say that all the time, and everybody knows what it means. We but... used to, man, when that thing came out, it was like me and my buddy uh, Doug, who's in yes. the military. Yo, shout out, Doug. Hi, Doug. Um, um, yeah. We used yeah. to say that all the time. I say that all the time. Yeah. All the freaking time. Yeah, Fubar. That's funny. Okay, you got another one real quick. I do. Do it. Did you say cauliflower to me? <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Do you guys know what that one's from? Did you say cauliflower Did to me? Did you say cauliflower to me? Okay, it's That so, is a sleeper movie. It is, and it was so underrated, and it's funny. As soon as I saw it, I was cracking up, and I oh, said, yeah. Dina, you got to see this it, movie. And I watch it. Now I've watched it like oh, a number of times. Oh, it is an amazing movie. What's the movie? Logan Lucky. Logan Lucky. There you go. Awesome so, movie. did you say um, cauliflower to me? I don't oh, remember all the people's names, but it was really good. <laughs> yeah. Channing Tatum. Yeah, that guy. Um, the guy. The that, guy who plays Darth Vader. Yeah, no. Kylo Ren. Yeah, Kylo Ren. Yeah, that guy. He's in it. Yeah, he's in it. Uh, Katie Holmes is in it. Um. Is she? Yeah, she's the she's the she's the ex-wife. Okay. Channing Tatum. Okay. Anyway, all right. It's really good. You should watch it. Right. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. There's a bunch of them. Actually, we could do a whole show on the, the quotes in that movie. Yep. All right. Uh, here's one real quick. Oh, my gosh, Becky. We say that daily. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. came from Sir Mix-a-Lot. Yep. Oh, my gosh, Becky. Look at her butt. It, it is, is so, so big. big. Okay, so... And this happened at Walgreens when I used to work at Walgreens, and we would go, "Oh my gosh, Becky!" And we actually had uh, a person that worked at at the store that I worked at. Her name was Becky, and we, so we used, to, "Oh my gosh, Becky!" And that was just kind of a thing. And then I brought that home, and then now it's become a thing. It's become it's a oh thing. my gosh, right. Becky! All right, um, and I think the last one was another "Oh brother, where art thou?" Almost a love. Almost though. got loved up though. And you can look that up on your own <laughs> yeah, for the Yeah, context. exactly. But it's funny. Yeah, it is funny. All right. Okay, so the whole movie is awesome. It guys, is. Seriously. Uh, it's rednecks meet. <laughs> okay, I only have one more. Greek mythology. Anyway, go ahead. I have one more. And it's every movie that Samuel Jackson has ever been in. <laughs> F U M F R. I mean, that's every every movie. Absolutely. Every movie. Absolutely. No. Yeah. And you know, really, to be one fair, of my, go mm, ahead. don't do it. No, I was just gonna say there's a host of like. Other I was ones. just gonna say the um, the assassin's bodyguard. That's one of my favorite shows. Oh yeah, I love that movie. It's Ryan so good because it's got Samuel Ryan Reynolds Jackson. in it. Hey, coming up also. Here's a hint for maybe next show. Aviation Gen. Okay. Speaking of liqueur, liqueur, it's time. It is time. It's time for it's time. the moonshine time. Ain't that perfect? And we actually have some moonshine in our drink today, <gasps> as we normally do. But we're going to give it to Dina, as we know. And she's our taste tester, and we look at her face to see, is it good or not? You you can know how sweet it is by how I look. Yeah, because she's a sweet person. Hey, we've got something interesting for you, Jill. It's called um, the Peach Under the Moon. This is an original recipe by Josh. Mwah. Okay. He knows I like the fruity juice. I will show you what, what is in it. What is in it is Southern Mwah. Shine Peach Moonshine. My glasses are so dark I can't see this. It's We got it, you the darkest I think ones. it's 50%. <laughs> yeah, you did. They are really dark. Um, also added to that is some 
deep eddy peach flavored vodka. We've gotten into that kind of vodka too. That's yummy. With some cranberry. There's all kind of flavors. Oh, it's so good. And with a little bit of peach Izzy drink that we've had before that we yeah. told you about the, the, the blackberry Izzy. And this is what comes from that. Um, if you have children, I can't see where the writing is. Can you see where the writing is? Oh, there it Not is. Not with my glasses on. Oh. It has a really, it says, I don't know what it says. It says muggle heifers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so Dina's gonna taste this peach under the moon. Tell us what she thinks about it. Yum. Very peachy. It's very good. So it's got about two ounces of each of the uh, liqueurs in it and over ice and then fill it up with your peach Izzy drink for a beautiful peach, refreshing, delicious drink. Look, she's still going. All right, let's give it to Del Toro, see what he thinks. Del Toro, take a sip. And if Del Toro is good, then that is our show for the day, everybody. Del Toro says, yay. He's good. He's good. We would like to thank everyone for your time, for watching and joining. Hey, remember, check out our original music yeah, at our shows. Check out all of our of um, social media platforms. If you'd like to make a comment or reach out to us in any way, shape, or form, you can, you can reach us at... Here it is, Moo Josh and Dina at moonshinesafari.com. Ignore this fuzzy thing over here. I don't know what that is. It keeps popping up in all of the shows. It looks like a sloth, but bigger. But I'm not sure. Okay, right here. All right. So, anyway, thank you so much. Hey, remember, be good to one Absolutely. another. Do something good for someone else, especially if you're feeling sorry for yourself. That's the best fix. Oh, absolutely. Is to do something yep. for someone else. Most of our problems feeling sorry for exactly. ourselves are because we're looking in the mirror too much. Do good to somebody yep. this week. Spread that shine. That's what we're here about, and we're trying to do it for you. And remember, spread it. Spread it. Ciao, everybody. See ya. Hey y'all, welcome to Moonshine Safari. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, as well as check the description for information on our social media sites, as well as our Patreon account to help support our adventures in the Moonshine Wilderness. <laughs>